Hey guys, Rumblin' Man here, and tonight we're going to take a look at how to get those ambient worship electric guitar tones using the Zoom G3XN. So make sure you stick with me. So guys, I would like to welcome you to the Rumbling Man channel this evening. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber. And if you're brand new here, I'd like to welcome you uh, for the first time. This is a guitar and bass channel where we look at guitars and basses and related gear. Uh, we look at a lot of stuff having to do with uh, worship guitar and worship bass, things like that. And we look at the Zoom products like Zoom G3XN quite a bit. So if you love that kind of content, I invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the thumbs up button. Uh, both would be very encouraging to uh, continue to deliver videos just like this one. So if you got the Zoom G3X in and you're using it in a worship music context or in an ambient music context, then you're probably trying to dial in the right tones. But sometimes, you know, if you're having a little trouble, it's OK to use other patches people made, uh, you know, to help you along in that. Uh, if you'll if you'll bear with me, I do want to uh, give you a great, great, great deal uh, on some ambient worship patches for Zoom G3XN tonight. Uh, but first, I kind of want to show you how I go about setting up um, a worship patch on the Zoom. And the reason I want to do that is, is that if you're not looking for new patches, if you don't want uh, my patch bundle, then at least let me show you kind of how I do this. And it's and it's proven, you know, I, I produce and it's proven when I produce worship tracks and things of that nature. It's 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 a proven recipe um, for a great sounding worship patch uh, with only six blocks uh, on the Zoom G3XN. OK, so real quick, let's you and me, uh, we're going to go into my computer program, which is the Zoom Guitar Lab that you can get from Zoom's website for your desktop. And I'm just going to kind of show you my layout of one of my patches just to kind of give you a little guidance as to how to go about setting up uh, your own ambient worship patch for the Zoom G3XN or Zoom G3N. OK, we're going to take a look at that. Uh, and then afterward, we're going to come back and uh, I'm going to let you hear some more demos. And then I'm going to tell you how you can get uh, these patches that I made just for you. Let's check it. All right, guys, so here we are in the desktop editor, which is Zoom's Guitar Lab application. So make sure you download this onto your computer uh, from Zoom's own website, okay? So I just want to show you real quick kind of how I would go about um, laying out um, a worship, ambient worship patch. Uh, just one of the ways I do. So with this video, uh, I am releasing a pack, a package of six patches. Uh, you can find their names right over here on the right. Uh, and that's going to be really cool. Um, so I'm going to dive into one of them real quick, which is going to be 
um, pedal thresh. And I'm going to show you how that track or how that particular patch is laid out so that you can see uh, kind of the standpoint of, you know, what goes into kind of achieving that cool ambient sound. Okay, so as you see, we can only get, uh, well, looks like I've got seven blocks here. Uh, but it's but it really is it's actually six because two of them are, are an amp together so um, as you can see we can only get you know six blocks with the G3XN and that's a weakness if you think you might need to use more than you know six effects or six blocks on a given patch you might want to think about uh, upgrading to go with a G5N uh, or G5XN as it may be called I can't I don't know for sure right now okay but this is pedal thresh so <sighs> Here's kind of how I do things. Now you see right here, you know, in the first block, I've got a drive. And, you know, I usually have drive first because you don't, you know, when you listen to your guitar driven, you don't want to listen to the amp through a drive pedal. You want the guitar through the drive pedal. So I've got that first in the patch. And then I go into my amp, okay? So this is uh, an orange amp simulation right here. And then down here for what we can see for the cabinet is, uh, I have a UK cabinet, okay? So pretty cool amp and cabinet combination that I came up with. I thought it had some nice sparkly sounds to it. So uh, here you have your amp, okay? So you want to make sure both sides are turned on if you so desire the uh, sides on the second side here. Now, between the amp and the cabinet, I did something interesting because usually I would do something like this after the cabinet. But I did something interesting here. I actually put the volume pedal between the amp and the cabinet. I just kind of thought it would be cool if you had the cabinet noise running at all time uh, and then everything just kind of zoom, zoom, zoom seeping through there. So the point of the volume pedal right here is uh, to do swells and to do it manually, so to speak, to actually use your foot uh, to do the swells. And then it's gonna hit delay and reverb. So. Um, wherever you place your your volume pedal is going to be you know a matter of personal preference and in this patch pack uh, not all of the patches use the volume pedal but a couple of them do okay wherever you place that is going to be your own preference that's just a, where I thought sounded cool in this particular patch I would put the amp before uh, before delay and before reverb because here's the thing do you want to hear your delay sound like it's coming through an amplifier or do you more want to hear the amplified tone coming through the delay, right? So I've got delay right here, a tape echo, and then the very last thing in my chain, always the very last thing in my chain, is going to be reverb. You don't want effects after reverb because then the reverberated sound is going to come into the effects and it's going to sound weird. Um, you want delay before reverb. You want because you want to you want to have whatever hits the reverb. You want it to be a clear. Uh, and punchy, uh, you know, response that's going to hit the reverb. Um, the reverb is what's going to really increase, you know, that dramatic uh, presence and that kind of ambient, spacey uh, sound or sound like you're in a big church kind of thing. So to me, it's like, I don't want my reverb to sound like it's in an amp cab. I want my reverb to sound pure. And for worship tones and ambient tones, we want a pure big sounding reverb okay so how do we achieve that we'll take a look at the controls on the reverb here we put the reverb last in the chain okay now the mix i've got it up at you know about 53 percent uh essentially so that it doesn't get annoying okay but look i've got the decay up uh pretty well at 55 because the decay is going to kind of manage you know how long that reverberated sound goes and we want it to go for a little while, not forever and ever and ever, because that can get kind of annoying, but we want to have plenty of decay. All right. Now here is the secret weapon um, of ambient worship music uh, for electric guitar right here, and that is the pre-delay. The pre-delay, um, to put it into more simple words, is just kind of, you know, how quickly uh, you hear the reverb from the sound that you just played. It's not going to be like spring reverb and boom, slap right back at me. It's going to go boom, boom. That's kind of how I think of it. You know, beyond that, it's just a matter of uh, EQing things to your guitar and listening to different amps and drives uh, and choruses and reverbs together. And make sure, you know, make sure the sound is pleasing to the ear. You know, if it doesn't sound good by itself, I tell my bass students this, you know, if it doesn't sound good by itself, it's probably not going to sound good in the mix either. So you want a pure, pleasing tone with uh, with 
plenty of brightness to it, you know, for uh, worship and ambient music. Okay, so this is just one example uh, of a patch, but I do have the whole um, the whole patch pack of six patches that I'm going to give you in. Uh, an awesome deal on. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at how um, I lay out a worship patch uh, for the Zoom G3XN, um, you know, let's hear another demo and then we'll talk a little bit more. What we need to talk about real quick is uh, if you get these patches, um, what you need in order for them to work. Okay, um, so real quick before we hear that demo though, I got to show you one thing and that's just I want to show you real quick how simple it is to install a patch uh, into your unit. Uh, as you see right here, I'm on the you know patch setting. You can be on patch or editor, I think. Uh, but right here in patches, I'm it's literally drag and drop. So you see, here's all my empty um, you know patch channels. So if I open you know this patch group, which has the uh, patches I'm releasing in this worship bundle, and let's say I just drag one over, uh, pedal thresh, bam, there it is. All right, so let's take a look at it looks good and we're gonna go to editor and sure enough it works it's literally drag and drop okay so let's listen to another demo So guys, very cool. So yes, there are six patches in this patch bundle, uh, and um, I I spent uh, like three, like two or three long nights uh, developing these. And I sat here and I played different guitars and and really meticulously, uh, you know, developed these. So I think you'll like them. Uh, I really do. And you know, I think you can use any guitar with them. Um, I you know I most recommend some kind of you know Strat or Fat Strat just because it's so versatile. But Tellys, you know. Whatever you want to use, um, I think you'll be able to get some great tones, especially if you do a little EQing just to uh, make sure you've got the right, uh, you know, highs, mids, and lows dialed in for your guitar. So here's the deal. I, I said I'd give you a good deal, and I'm going to give you a good deal, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, if you'll download uh, from me uh, in the uh, from the link in the description uh, of this YouTube video, I'm actually going to give you the six Zoom G3XN ambient worship patches for only $5 USD, okay? Which you wanna take me up on that because uh, back when I was doing HX Stomp patches, I have sold you know, just one or two patches for more money than that, okay? So uh, I just want you to have them. I want you to be able to use them. Uh, and the whole reason that I sell them in the first place is just so that I can be compensated for my time uh, that I invest into making them and getting them put out there, okay? But real quick, there are a few things you're gonna need to know uh, for these patches to work for you. Uh, and so uh, I'm gonna tell you about that right now, okay? So in, uh, in the file that you get with the patches, there will be a README uh, that will be a PDF document. So for these patches to work, you're going to need your Zoom G3XN um, or G3N uh, or G5N. This will work on e any of those. Uh, the only thing is if uh, your unit does not have the expression pedal, then you will need to replace the expression pedal with something else in each patch. Okay. So you need your unit and you need a computer. And on the computer, you do need the Zoom Guitar Lab application, which you can get from Zoom's website. And then you need uh, the USB cable that will go from the pedal to the computer. From there, in order for these patches to work, uh, there's a certain list of different amps uh, and effects, cabs, um, etc., that you need to have in your G3XN in order for these patches to work. You need to have the effects that these patches used. Uh, but never fear, for that purpose, I actually, in that uh, README PDF document, I have a full list of the effects that you need to make sure you have already put into your unit from the Zoom Guitar Lab uh, application. So make sure you, you know, drag and drop 
those particular effects over to make sure you have them uh, before you drag and drop in the patches themselves. From there, you're good to go. Now, I very highly recommend that you run these patches in stereo. The demos you're hearing today are run in stereo. You know, I do make mono patches too sometimes, you know, that are strictly mono, and these will work if you run them mono. Uh, but a couple of the effects are more stereo effects, and the reverbs and everything, to me, they just sound splashier and fuller and rounder and better if you run stereo, okay? So make sure you're running stereo as well. And then other than these things I've just mentioned, that's really all you need to get these installed on your device and get up and running, okay? So I really hope that you enjoy it. Really hope you have some great uh, worship meetings uh, or even private jam sessions and private worship sessions, whatever it may be, using these patches. I hope they're a big help to you. Let's listen again. So guys, I want to say thank you for watching this video today. If uh, there's more content you want to see in relation to the Zoom G3XN or to Worship Guitar, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments of this video. I'm always down to chat gear. Okay. Also, if you are a worship musician, I do have a Facebook group that's kind of a closely knit uh, kind of life group. It's called Worship Guitar and Bass Friends by Rumbly Man on Facebook. So you're welcome to join our group. There's a link to that in the description of this video. Also, please make sure you subscribe and give me the thumbs up button. You can hit me up on social media. And I have Patreon in place to uh, help me keep doing this channel. So uh, all these things just so we can uh, put out some great content and help people and give God the glory. And, uh, and keep rocking, okay? So guys, thank you so much. Uh, hope you enjoyed the patches. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I will see you on the next one, all right? Peace. Peace.